National Football League and NASCAR. I originally planned for a uh, golden ticket special paint scheme, but I didn't have time to make it, but we'll run one, maybe at the Brickyard. All right, this is the BBMZ Charlotte track. Trying to practice the doodad a while ago to tune in the AI, and I haven't run on it since. And the setup's a little bit fun. Tire management is critical here. We have a pit window of like 32 to 34 laps. And if you don't pay attention to your tires, by lap 30, they're pretty much gone. So we really have to be diligent. I'll start throwing up our qualifying efforts, <laughs> which is just, you know, the conversation I had with Siri. She blessed us, not bad, 15th. This is a long one, 140 laps, 30 second laps, that's, a, that's 70 minutes, real world. Real time, whatever. I think we're three wide. I saw can't squeal the tires like that at all. I hope we were three wide. I don't know why Michael Waltrip was on us like something. I can't think of an analogy because I'm trying to deal with this car in the turns. By the end of this race, we'll be, we'll be sharp. Boy, they hug you through the trioval. A long race, fellas. I was looking at the points. We we have four straight top tens. I'm trying to think of them right now. What Martinsville, Bristol, North? Okay, yeah. So we swept top tens through the short tracks. One at Talladega. And. I didn't see it at the time, but it, if you saw that video, I cannot believe how close we got to Tony Stewart late in that race. And with the, uh, I have it linked in the, or not linked, but just described in the, credited in my descriptions. Tyler Mallon, Malone, or it wouldn't be Malone, it'd be Mallon, uh, created this free camera. And that's what uh, that's what affords us to get the unbelievable close shot of that. And uh, I cannot believe how close we were. I didn't. I knew we were close, but we were 
pixels <laughs> away from ruining our race. Thank the Lord. Got that big win. One at Bristol. We're now 60 points back. With Tony Stewart. We're up in third place now. Or no, what did I say? Tony Stewart? Ryan Newman. 60 points behind Ryan Newman. And... It's looking good. I was surprised at Tony Stewart in the standings. Two DNFs. He's been solid everywhere else. And he's up there in the top ten. Ricky Rudd had the pole this race out of nowhere. He's had some decent starting positions for us, but I didn't expect a pole. I'm trying to figure out what's going on in turn four there. I'm just trying to find the places where we spook them and try not to spook them. I don't try to cheat them. Somehow we're in 19th. We've lost four spots. Well, it's, that's the usual... That's our usual MO, is losing spots at the start of the race. But... Whatever. We uh, have one random caution. I was thinking about putting two up there. But, nope. In my practice race here... Um, didn't have a caution. Uh, or didn't have a wreck, I should say. Because when I do those practice things, I don't have cautions turned on because the whole point is to get a steady X number of laps in. And any kind of caution, or, and I have damage off, so any damage hurts that baseline. A caution hurts that baseline, so I have that all turned off. But I was curious, and I ran a couple of um, simu simulated races. I let the AI run here with cautions turned on. And they average about one every 60 laps. And I really didn't find a pattern on, you know, there's some places... There's some places on some tracks that are just obvious trouble spots. Darlington is one that usually churn out the wrecks. But I couldn't find a pattern in the wrecks here. All right, if it seems like I'm taking it easy, it's because I am. If a spot opens up to us, like if we can if we can time them letting up in 3 perfectly there, we can make a pass. But again, it is a long race. We're just kind of kicking the tires here. Seeing what we can get away with. Thanks for all the views, comments. Um, likes and subscriptions. Although we haven't had too many new subscribers since this season kicked off. Um, I'm trying to be more diligent in replying to comments. Helping people out with any questions they have about the spreadsheet. Learning some Portuguese. Yeah, for that 2000 season, or 2001 season, we'll, uh, we'll let Harvick run that season as well. So we'll have two good wrenches in the field. Boy, these cars look nice on, under these lights on this track. Trying to see how they get spooked. Yeah, I just have to stay high. If they see me coming down at all, they they completely back out. That's what happened to Sterling Marlin earlier. We just don't want that to happen. 
Which is fair. I mean, I get I have the high line. Stay up there, Jack. But yeah, Atlanta was a wake-up call. Once I realized that we were really dropping like whale crap in the points, I had to I had to wake up. pit window here being kind of you know I usually try to get the 40 laps on these bigger tracks um, I wanted to but the tires I didn't want to mess with the tire wear too much I realized like lap 37 was our absolute dead drop window for tires running how we want to run here and um I didn't want to mess with that too much. So I just decided, hey, let's get to lap 32. Set the fuel window for that and be done. So that's what we have done. And I've done a pretty good job. So I, th I think I have, a, I have it down to a science now. Dialing in the AI at new tracks. It used to be a very arduous process because I was doing it and learning how to do it at the same time. But now I have a pretty good system. So, you know, give me... Give me maybe an hour and change and I can dial in a new track. And then we just have to worry about AI behavior, how they wreck, where they wreck, pit road entry and exit and whatnot. So we still may run into issues with this track, but the speeds should be pretty consistent. Looks like the leaders up there have just taken off. Oh, of course, of course, it's Ryan Newman. I can't believe it. Like, I, can, I cannot believe his season. It's just ridiculous. Okay, we are taking care of the tires. Probably a little bit too much. You can see Harvick fighting back on us. And we get sucked into a nice draft here. Scrape the wall there. Took that turn wrong. There they go. Wow. They were just waiting for me to screw up. going to hit that wall at the worst possible time sometime in this race. That you're just on a you're on a tightrope up there. This is just, this is tense. I want green flag pit stops and I want things to just kind of feel just to 
spread out a little bit. Charlotte in the, in the early going is always like this. And this was by design, kind of moving to the back of this group, especially with pit stops looming. Yeah, I didn't touch the tire wear at all. And you can see just running how we always run. We're about to hit the yellow here soon. Also, unfortunately, I think I'm running out of Pamela Anderson stacked promos. I've been just frantically searching all the Fox commercials on YouTube for her. Found another one when I thought we were completely plumb out. But I think we're reaching the end of the rope. I didn't want to spook Johnson into getting Sterling Marlin, but it looks like he did anyway. Again, this is by design. Just staying back here. There's yellow already. Right rear. Wow. And you're going to see me making some weird moves. Because once that turns yellow, the, the, the car wants to act funny. It's just a threshold it hits and it wants to start being funky. You gotta take the turns differently. We're gonna let the AI pit first. Should be coming up right now or the next lap. You see how I'm not I'm not able to get up the, the track. Yeah, they're both yellow. That's what happens. It goes just. I mean, basically the grip goes. And it doesn't go where you want it to go. <laughs> yep, we got some moves. We got pitters. All right, turn four, they pit. We're going to check on the back stretch on when they have to slow down. I forgot to check the, the commitment line. I swore. Oh, boy. Yep. I swore I had this down to... Look at that. I swore I had this down to 32 laps, not 34. All right, Sunoco sign. We have to be down to uh, 45. Speaking of Sunoco, we have to find the Sunoco gas station on Pit Road. There it is. And we're a little bit after it. I see it. Oh. Thank you, Siri. She put us right on this, right on one of the uh, access points. The leader's pitting now. And I would rather pit in front of it. Go, go, go! Limit 45. Keep it under 3,500 in seconds. Watch that speed now. All right, we're definitely Keep losing some spots. In seconds. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. 
Okay, we got a smoker here that might bunch these guys up. Oh, I'm holding on to this thing for dear life on this apron. I almost wrecked because I was trying to see who that was smoking. I'm going to say, yeah, that was inevitable. I want to say it was Greg Biffle. I want to say it was Greg Biffle smoking there. This is part of our fuel stuff. Um, you see the AI pitting here for no reason, but there's probably something to do with their calculations of, uh, of fuel. So we just turned our tires off, and we're just pitting for fuel here with them. Just, yeah, you just got to play along. Like a wall trip. We'll give you a half can of fuel. Go, go, go! The pace cars in turn two. Limit 45. Keep it under 3,500 in second. Watch that speed now. Nice. Keep it on 3,500. I think second. we're going to gain some spots anyway. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. All right, getting ready to get back at her. Mark Martin had some issues, and he's uh, a lap down. And Ricky Rudd seemed like he was caught in no man's land on pit road he's at the tail end of the lead lap and i was expecting that and it was greg biffle and i was expecting that that was going to be causing some kind of wreck and a bottleneck but they just they just threw they just threw the caution because he was slow up slowed up on the apron usually i mean it's a community built track so they probably just have that in as a caution, but usually, oh man, usually, hang on, Carl Edwards is invading my brain right now. Um, yeah, usually the, the car will just stay down there and disappear and we won't get a caution, so. All right, I forgot we're on new tires. I still don't think we can afford to push it. Every little squeal like that is no good. So we pitted pretty much on schedule, lap 34, and uh, so it's going to be lap 68. We'll pit again. Maybe closer to lap 70 because of the caution. just really wanted the field to spread out like I'm just I'm a bundle of nerves here I'm still still don't have this setup like I'm still not used to this setup and it's affecting my life Yeah, we are. Yeah, we've clawed back, and we're we're one Ryan Newman DNF away from really being able to exhale a little bit. I 
And it has nothing to do with, um, you know, that's one of my big worries is, is being perceived as, you know, uh, cranking the difficulty down so we can get back into this whole thing. But I'm not that good of an actor. <laughs> I mean, Martinsville was a pain until we figured out the high line. Bristol, we just got lucky pitting. And we that's usually what, what happens at, Br at Bristol is you can get out in front. North Wilkesboro was just a fun track. That was a decent finish. And Talladega, I mean, Daytona, we wrecked. You know, I've never won at a restrictor play. I usually finish first or second there anyway. So we, we just... We've gotten some luck. And we have to uh, appreciate that. But things can change here. If I don't, if I don't stay on top of it, we can easily wreck here. I'm actually terrified of wrecking. That was the easiest pass of all time right there. Just realized I've been chatting it up for 48 laps. I think it's time for a uh, commercial break. Pam Anderson's playing Cupid. I'm a really good matchmaker. I introduced my friend Brandy to all three of her husbands. All new stack. Plus, the moms meet and go head to head. With your girls, I thought that they were very rude. And all new trading spouses meet your new mommy. It all begins at 8, 7 central, Fox Wednesday. Well, we're in the thick of it, as always, when I come back from commercial. We made a couple passes. Hopefully I remember to show them. We went on the high side and passed uh, a couple guys. I don't even remember. Whoa. Almost at the wall. Um, we passed, um, what's his name? Um, Scott Wimmer. I saw Kyle Bush was in the lead before commercial. And Ryan Newman was leading early, but now he's back here. Looks like in 11th. Ken Schrader was in the top 10. But something's holding up this whole gang right here. Looks like somebody's finally doing something about it. Maybe not. It's Leffler. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I was going to check the standings. I, I can't. I don't want to. I got my hands where I want them. Be careful here. This is the most tense. They did. They did a good job here with this track. Um, this is the, the most tensed up I've been all season. Honestly, just want to relax. Whoa. And we get Sadler. What stinks is you'll know just by the length of the video if I wrecked. It's one of the longest races of the season. And if it ends up being the 30 minute video, you're going to be like, well, what happened? But usually we don't wreck early. If anything, we go out in a blaze of glory at the end. Inside. 
I reckon we're about... Oh, we're good on tires. I reckon we're about six laps from pit stops. Maybe seven. Just got to hold on until then. I wish I didn't put that random caution in the race. <laughs> I thought we were I thought we were locked in at 32 laps and they they tricked me and they went 34 this race and Tony Stewart Tony Stewart looks like he was spooked by whoever was below him and didn't want to get behind Harvick so he pushed he went to the th to the middle line and I had to had to play ball I mean, we, 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 yeah, okay. Yeah, Tony Stewart's like, yeah, it doesn't feel so good, does it? Yeah, all in all, everything behaved on that first round of stops. Where I'm using up, I wanted to use up some tires there and make that pass. Yeah, that first round of stops was pretty clean. Robbie Gordon gave us the red ass a little bit trying to get in there. I had to use up the very last of our tires pretty much to make sure we got down to speed. And make sure we actually got onto pit road, not into the grass. Leader's pitting now. So I was, I was thinking lap 70, but... are still in good shape. Did a good job this run, but also we haven't run 34 laps. Well, yeah, we have, pretty much. But I was upset that the AI... Okay, there's nobody right on us. I think we pit now. We save ourselves a headache of somebody getting into us. Glad I didn't cause a glad I didn't cause some kind of wreck there. Watch that speed now. Keep it on in second. This is great. It's just a wasteland here. Nobody mess with us. We'll give you one can of fuel. This is nerve wracking. But yeah, I was upset about the pit window because we're at 35 and 35. That's half a 70. Go, so go, go. AI might be right on the window at the end of the race. Keep it under 45. Keep it under 3,500 in second. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. All right, we're going to hang on to her here. What we... What, hang on. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what position we were. Okay, we learned our lesson with Mike Wallace. We're just... We're gonna let him just go. There. That's the thing, man. You gotta learn your lessons. I was scared, because I... Uh, you never hear the spotter say, Okay, feel free to merge, Jack. I haven't heard that in either at either pit stop yet. Who's this car? Rusty Wallace. We haven't seen Rusty Wallace all race, so... I'm using up just a little bit of tires here to hook up with Sterling Marlin. Alright. Throw us a rope, buddy. Alright, there's uh, m ms Jamie McMurray, that's who we were with, I think. M&M's. I'm thinking it's David Gilliland. I'm about to say that. And then I realize it's Elliot Sadler, but I didn't want to think, go that deep into thinking. All 
All right, here's where we're going to see where we shake out. We do have fresher tires. I mean, we put on a couple extra laps than these guys. I don't want to see Mike Bliss's car. Unless he's a lap down. All right, Sterling. Let's crack the whip. Top 10. Yeah, that's just... That's just, just short pitting a little bit and gaining whatever differential on tire wear. But these boys are going to be coming... Me and Sterling just have to hang on. See if we can kind of pull away from the, those guys. Maybe even catch these next jokers, whoever's up here. All of America is talking about Chef Gordon Ramsay. Shut your mouth. He's the world's most brutal boss in the competition TV guide calls devilishly entertaining. You're useless, you know that. I am. Goodbye. Hell's Kitchen, all new at 9, 8 central, tomorrow on Fox. Ooh. Random caution. We skipped a ton there. We're on lap 91, by the way. Skipped a ton there. And we're... We were kind of in no man's land, chasing down these next cars. Harvick right on us. But I fully expect pit stops here. Let's actually catch up to the... to the gang here. Uh-oh. Somebody got into somebody. It's got to be pit stops all the way around. Jamie McMurray is not in front of us, so we can... Let's just see. Let's, let's actually keep track of where we end up here. We're going in eighth. Let's see where we come out. Keep it under 45. Keep it under 3,500 in seconds. The pace cars... Probably aren't going to gain a spot because we always... Watch that speed now. Tiptoe into pit road like a coward. Remember, don't pass the stop sign at the end of pit road. I'm, Remember, don't pass the stop sign at the end of pit I'm road. I'm well acquainted with pit where our pit stall is at now. We'll give you just a splash of fuel. Not worry about splash of fuel because it takes the same amount of time as four tires. So it's still fair. All right, let's watch. Rear view, nobody's coming. Let's take off. It's like Casey Kane had a problem in my peripheral. I'm just staring at my okay, you're clear speed. Stay behind the 21 car. All right, a little. I probably, sh I probably showed it. I still haven't seen anything that's going on. I'm not. I haven't gone into the replays. But Ryan Newman back there in 32nd in the standings I saw going to commercial when I was writing down the top 10 I saw he had dropped into the 20s something to do with the pit stop I'm assuming something's going on on pit road that's causing him to drop spots that is my best guess all right shut up here we go Again, that was just a bad jump period, but it's not like the papyrus tracks where I just, you know, I'm almost a lap down on starts. Okay, Junior. This is not good. I was just cruising during that commercial break all by myself, taking in the sights. Now we're back in the thick of it, not what I want. Just giving up places left and right. Or left, pretty much. Man. 
Mike Bliss is not fast at all. We got to get down in front of Jamie McMurray. We have the tires to do it. Almost got into him. Oh. So let's just leave Bliss back there. We still have plenty of lappers to deal with here. But again, but my calculations on getting these guys to start, you know, the slower cars to get lapped, it's not paying dividends. I thought it was when I mentioned it earlier this season and I started fussing with their ratings. That was a long... We've had two long green flag runs here. And most of these cars haven't been organically lapped. It's usually something with pit road or something's going on. So, but whatever. Something that's creeping into the back of my mind already is, let's say we pit on lap 94 and pit windows 34 laps. We would pit again on lap 128-ish, close to 130 maybe, and I mentioned earlier how my tires are just shot after 30 laps, and that's default. That's what the tracks I and I came with. So that means the AI, the AI's tires are probably in way better condition, which means with with this last pit, this final pit stop coming up, I might have to take on at the very least right sides and they might not have to take on anything they might just have to take on um pretty much just one can of fuel so i'm really nervous like i'm gonna have no choice but to take on tires man that that, that casey kane kind of arrow pushed us into that turn and i just was carrying way too much speed Sterling Marlin. Oh, goodness. Yeah, he's having trouble. We got into him. Carl Edwards got into him. Dale Jarrett's creeping me out. Oh, gosh. My caution was not good. Yeah, silver lining is Ryan Newman. He was having some kind of issue. Or maybe multiple issues. All right, lapper up here in Terry Labonte. We're going to end up getting trapped by him here. Or maybe not. No, we will. Using up some tires here to get around him. Got to use them up. Got to get around him. Oh, I was going to... Nope, hold on to her. Sorry, fellas. Don't wreck back there. I was just going way too fast. I hadn't carried that much speed coming out of two all race. I can't believe that. I was like, oh yeah, we're going to settle in line behind Sterling more. But he held on to her. So now we have some breathing room. I honestly thought when Sterling Marlin initially hit the wall 
he was going to hit us and that was going to be the end of our raid. I was already mentally, emotionally preparing for it. That we were going to get spun out. But he just got into the side of us a little bit and slammed back into the wall. And I almost wrecked trying to see what was going to happen in my rear view. Alright, we're in 14th. That's, that's, ugh. I think we, re re we restarted in 6th. So. Tires are in decent shape. Carl Edwards wants to play here. The dude abides. Jimmy Johnson in the lead. Kyle Busch has had to leave for a while this race. That's what the top 10 looks like right now. Jason Leffler again. And our, our old boy Ryan Newman is in 22nd. Maybe he's just finally coming down to earth. Maybe he was just... I don't know what he was doing the first... I don't, it's not an anomaly. You know, first ten races of the season just dominating. Just something weird happened to him here. Yeah, I was planning on, you know... That second commercial break we did is going to be the longest one of the season, I think. Because it's a long race. I'm not going to just sit here for an hour and talk. But this racing is really good. I mean, that's the whole point of this. Just to show some fun stuff. And we've had a lot of... We've had many close calls. But it all could go to crap if uh, this final pit stop is just fuel for the AI and we're taking on four tires like a clown. I mean, if that's the case, i got to roll up my sleeves and get it to the INI file and get their tire wear. Because if I, if I say I would knock up their tire wear to something that matches ours... Then I also have to change like two or three other numbers to get them to be consistently running with us with the, you know, the end of our 30 lap runs or whatever they are. It's just a snowball chain reaction that you have to account for. That was... <laughs> I was going to say that's the easiest pass of all time, but that's the same thing I said about the Vickers pass in the same exact spot. So there's a spot on the track to remember. And yeah, what did I say? Near lap 30. Probably about, we're about 15 laps away. From pit stops, and I mean, worst case scenario, if I, if I forget to, we're only doing right side. Repair, no. Fuel. Say that we decide that we don't need, or no, we're going to have to escape out of the game anyway to check the replay. If it's green flag stop, so we can see what the AI is doing. But, um,. Everybody's going to be pitting with 10 to go. Fuel window's like 30 laps, so they need a third of a tank to get to the end. Um, and a can would be 15. So, I mean, they would have it down to the, the ounce, how much they need. But we can't do it, so one can is 15 laps. When we'll need 10, that's more than enough. But I'm... Honestly, entire conservation mode. Just not trying to 
pick up any spots here. This is just we're preparing for worst case scenario. But I was saying we're going to have to escape out of the game anyway to see the replay. And anytime you escape out of the game, it resets your 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 uh, your tire settings. Like like if you like the tires that you have checked to change, it just changes them to all check marks when you escape from the game and come back in. I don't know why. I've never known why. I'm just taking her easy here. If a, if a run comes, like we've seen passing, uh, or almost running into crashing Sterling Marlin and the passes we've made on Vickers and Leffler, I'll take it. Like, this is a real slow up. If I had a, if I was in position, I'd make a move. We're not there, but we do have Tony Stewart nipping at us back there. No guarantee of another caution either. Doesn't seem like that's what the AI does here. And let's just be on the lookout for some weird pitch strategy here. Forget the whole four tires, no tires, just fuel thing. Just maybe towards the end of the race, they think a little bit differently and they'll want to hit sooner than the actual window. Seems like I overthink this stuff a lot, but I'd rather overthink it than underthink it. That's fine. Don't break. I mean, caution wouldn't be bad. I don't know what happened there. All I know is we're back in the gas. I guess it was just that weird thing we've seen where they um, don't want to commit to the bottom line when there's a car relatively close and they want to go to that middle line. Rusty Wallace just made this wild move out of nowhere. I did see somebody pitting behind us, though, in the rear view. And we were actually able to keep up our speed pretty decently. See, now they're, they're really slowing up here. But not really. I don't know. We protected our tire. Maybe they're doing the same thing. I don't know. What I do, do know is I'm hanging out here on the top ish line in three and four. Yeah, we're not going to set the world on fire. I'm not worried about making any passes right now. I'm just trying to... handle these pit stops the best way we can. Poor Rusty Wallace coming off pit road there. And Carl Edwards' car like a hawk.
And if he would, um, if he would just all of a sudden put on his brakes and go into the pit road, I would probably just vomit and black out and go on pit road too. And that's not the plan. The plan is to stay out, see what they're doing. Oh, we do have pit stops here. Or a wreck? No, pit stops. See, I almost vomited. We're fine. But we're going to be able to see what they're doing. 15 to go. They, you would have to put on tires. You're in the top 10. Good job. But it's going to be a free-for-all. We're going to be able to put balls to the wall. Okay, here we go. Hold on to it. Oh, man. Let's see. We'll go to the end. What are you clowns doing? Dang it, they only we're only seeing the beginning of the stops right now. Terry Labonte back there. Right sides. Right sides only for Terry Labonte back there. Casey Kane. I mean, these were the heavy hitters coming in. Give me the pit lane. That's awful. This is the default pit lane camera. So we can check out Jeff Burton down there. Right sides. Come on, game. Right sides only. That's what we have to do. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't think we can afford to, though. Uh... And one can was this was the fair thing to do. Let's double check this. Damage off. Right side zone. Ugh. I'm, this is just. It's not. I hope we got in there without getting penalized. I think we'll be fine though. Watch that speed now. Keep it on thirty five hundred in seconds. Yeah, definitely don't squeal the tires on this last stop. If I got if I got a black flag there, I'm gonna I don't know. Limit 45. Keep it under 3,500. Please, God in heaven. Please, Lord. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Oh. It's the most suspense, suspenseful part of any race. Is, okay, you're clear of pit lane. And then it's like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, he said, did he just say you're, you can merge now? I'm not even listening for that at that point of the apron. So, but yeah, we, we don't have four tires on. We have two tires on. And I've never really seen how the left sides, man, how they fare. Hey, hey, magic words right there. We're in the top ten. A long race. We're not going to win. We just aren't going to win it. So what we want to do is make sure our tires last to the end. We have much more to lose than we have to gain. And it seems like we're better on right sides only than these guys. I just don't want to lose focus. Longest race of the year. <laughs> Not screw up. No cautions. Well, one random caution, but that's it. I mean, the AI behaves extremely well. But we had a close call with Rusty Wallace. And we've seen the AI get into each other a few times. Or maybe once. Kevin Harvick got into somebody. Sterling Marlin. Pretty sure. 
but okay here we go a lapper has apparently bunched these guys up which means we can pick off some spots Jimmy Johnson five second lead Do I want to... I mean, the left tires are decent. I think we can push the car a little bit. And hope Rusty Wallace up here does not wreck us. Caution would be the one of the worst things that ever happened in my life. If one comes out. You want that spot, Tony Stewart? You can have it. Yeah, there's been no wrecks. The only skid marks on the track are me going into pit road every time. <laughs> That's funny. Wait a minute, we passed all those cars and gained one spot? Yeah, those were all lappers. Damn. I thought Bobby Labonte was in the lead situation. Mike Bliss, six laps down? Okay. Robbie Gordon five laps down. Wouldn't mind looking into that a little bit. Um, so I guess and we got we put Sterling Marlin in the wall too, but, but that was our fault kind of. Um, the Rusty Wallace thing, I I well I will go to my grave saying that wasn't our fault. Ryan Newman sneaked up to thirteenth. Afford to make a move here. It's too dangerous. It honestly. I cannot believe we survived this race. We still haven't, mind you. So what a charge by Ryan Newman. He's going to eventually... I mean, all this work. My ass is sore. And we're going to gain four points on Ryan Newman. Maybe three. He might have let a lap, too. Jimmy Johnson, undoubtedly... Oh, 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 oh. Nope. Not today, Satan. We're staying up here. Take that spot, buddy. Uh, Jimmy Johnson most likely taking that white flag and the checkers. We're going to stay up high and maybe keep that spot from Tony Stewart. I wanted to at least gamble nobody yeah I think we did the old pinch there I really didn't want to but I just wanted to stay off the wall oh I've never been more relieved that a race was over in my life 
ever. My eyes hurt. Jimmy Johnson got that win as expected. Or as I pretty much assumed. Elliot Sadler ended up finishing third. That's interesting. Junior top five. We get a top ten. Could have pushed it there at the end, but I was on fumes emotionally. I couldn't do it. Um, Ryan Newman did end up 12, and he did lead a lap. So, I mean, we're gaining, what? Whatever. Two points on him. Hey, every bit matters. Kyle Busch, 13th. He led the most laps, as you probably saw. Uh, hopefully, I was able to, in the back of the field here. Um... Nothing wild. Uh, hopefully I was able to show some stuff, what happened to some of these guys. Especially Mike Bliss, I want to figure out. I'm actually going to write that down. See what happened with him. Losing six laps. Robbie Gordon, two, five laps. Um, but that's it. Okay, I got I to gotta, I gotta step away. Whew. I don't think I can... <laughs> that's, a, that's a long race. Especially how pressure-packed it was and how we didn't have cautions. That's something I gotta write down too in my notes that we don't get cautions here, so maybe two random cautions help. But at the same time, it makes it more hectic. I don't know. But awesome. Oh, just awesome stuff. Um Okay, we have one, two, three. Four races left. Wow, four races left um in the first half of the season. Pocono, Dover. Or no, Sears Point, Dover, Pocono, and Chicago. Uh, wow, real close to the halfway point already. Unbelievable. All right, thanks for watching if you're still watching this. Thanks for watching. Uh, 